hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be sharing with you people my port of entry experience how everything went the questions i was asked and all of that so almost everybody had like oh two minutes at the point of entry with the point of entry of that but no mine wasn't like that <laughs> this man drilled me for over 10 to 15 minutes like asking me questions for some reason i feel like he's a nigerian so i will be taking you guys through every single thing he asked me the ones i can't remember and yes and all of that the documents you should have nearby just in case they want to ask for any moving forward my name is adipeju just in case you're new here so i had this hand luggage where i kept like documents i just felt like just in case they ask for them here i'll be able to like bring it out so in that my hand luggage i had my cast i had my brp letter like the the letter that came with your when you went to pick up your passport that letter and i had my medical report that's the one you went to do at the iom i had that one too in my bag then i had my passport i had all of my documents with me in my hand luggage just in case if anything happened to my box like my work results every single important document was with me i was carrying it everywhere aside from just carrying aside from the safety it was just because if they asked for anything to be honest and i didn't throw away my my boarding pass for my for my flights and all of that so i had everything with me so moving forward after landing you will see the direction you see where everybody is going to so you to just go there so you see the way to the point of entry blah 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 when we got there okay by the way i came in through each row so all those oh the queue is long <laughs> nothing like that happened to me the queue was very short we came in around 1 p.m or so so immediately after that we went we joined the queue you guys i will lie to you i was scared because i read so many things online i was scared who oh, they will ask you for this yes another thing i had in my document uh, in my bag was statement of accounts just in case so i had my statement of accounts with me too the one i used in applying for my visa not a recent one so <laughs> so i was scared i was praying <laughs> so the queue was very short it got to my turn person that the officer was a black person so when i got there you guys having a small stature is a problem and it's not a problem at the same time but when i got there automatically the guy just thought i was a child so and there is this once people meet me and they have this mentality that oh she's a child they start asking me plenty questions like are you safe are you alone are you all right and all those type of things so <laughs> so when i got there the first thing he asked me was where am i coming from i said i'm coming from nigeria it was like like did i come with a direct flight or i had a stopover i was like oh i'm coming from egypt blah 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 he's like what country am i from i said i'm from nigeria then he was like okay he wants to see my passport I gave him my passport. I don't know why he was checking on the passport. So he was like, Oh, you're a Nigerian? I said, Yes. Oh, you live in Abuja? I said, Yes. Oh, you have a Muslim name? Yes, because I, my my first name is a Muslim name. So he was like, Oh, you have a Muslim name? I said, Yes. Oh, are you Hausa? I said, No. I was like, Where do you live in Abuja? I told him. Then he was like, Okay, okay. That's um, what university am I? Like, what, what am I here for? I told him that for study he was like oh good so what course am i studying i said international law then he said um that did i study law back in nigeria because i said when he said international law i said masters in international law so he was like did i study law in nigeria i said yes that i did study law in nigeria I was like oh i'm a lawyer i said no he was like why he said i told him that oh because i haven't gone to law school he was like okay so do i intend to go back to nigeria after my master's year i said yes i mean what do you want me to say <laughs> i said yes after that we moved on to okay so 
what school are you going to? I said, um, University of World. I was like, oh, why all of all places? There are so many people, there are so many universities offering um, international law. I was like, oh, I like their models. It was like, okay, that by the way, that all oh, is very boring, all oh, that he wishes me all the best. I even thought we were done, like after I said he wishes me all the best. Then the next thing he goes, um, when is school resuming? I said, 23rd. I was like, oh, you're, you're here early. Mind you, I got in, in on August 27th. Yes. No, sorry. I left Saint August 27th. So I landed August 28th. So he was like, oh, you're here early. I said, yes. He was like, where am I going to now? I didn't want to tell any lies, to be honest. So I was telling him the truth. So where am I going to? I said, um, I was going to Bristol. He was like, ah, that boy, I'm going to school, you know. I said, yes, that I'm going to see family. He was like, okay. Have I been to the UK before? I said yes. Oh, that means oh, you know your way around. I said maybe. Then he asked me again that who is coming to pick me up at the airport, <laughs> or am I taking bus or taxi and all of that? I was like, they are coming to pick me up. I was like, okay. Then since I came in August, that that means I and school is starting like September twenty. That means I still have like enjoyment to do with family i said yes he didn't even ask for my did, did he ask for my cars yes i think he later did after we spoke about school he asked for my cars and my passports and after that after all these plenty plenty questions to be honest these are the ones i can remember but you guys okay yes the very last thing he asked me that scared me was who was sponsoring my masters i told him that my parents then he was like what do they do i told him that oh this is what they do blah 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 he was like okay your cast it was after that he asked for my cast so i gave him my cast after giving him my cast then he was like i should turn print and gave he stamped my passport and he gave it back to me and he was like i wish you the best blah 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 the other people that we that we went together, like because I made friends, of course, <laughs> or because we had to talk over and I made friends. They were already on the other side. They're like, ah, we were praying for you. What was he asking you? Blah 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 blah, and all of that. So, because the man asked me about law school, he asked me about Abuja and all of that. Because that's why I'm like, is either this guy is a Nigerian or he has been to Nigeria before. So. In all of this, I feel like everybody's experience is going to be different. Your experience is going to be different from mine. Some people, they just ask them, your cast, okay, stamp, and that was it. But mine wasn't like that. But in all of this, what I'm going to say is just be calm. Just be calm. You only asked me for who was sponsoring. And I said, my parents. So he didn't even ask for that, that, oh, where's your proof of phone, da, 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 da. He didn't ask me all of that. He only asked who was sponsoring. And that was it. So I would just say, be calm. Anything they ask you, be open, be honest. Say whatever it is that the answer is. And please, no basic things about your school. Like, now, he asked me why my school. He asked me, um... What day am I resuming? Like basic things, honestly, you should know. It might not be that that they will ask you. It might be, oh, what course? How many modules? Like just, and they might not even ask you all of that. That's that's the truth. So yes, if you watched up until now, thank you very much. Thank you for sticking by. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please do. Please do. Like seeing, I've been giving people content. <laughs> ever put microphone because somebody complained that they can't hear my voice i hope you can hear now i think it's a guy i hope you can hear now yeah thank you bye